Hello, internet friends. Let's do another overview under five video, and this time it's the Talos Principle. This is a game that caught me way off guard because it's not just a puzzle game. You're going to be dealing with some very in-depth subject matter, and the story elements are just totally not what I expected, but that's a good thing. It is definitely not a shallow game at all. So there's a premise here. Humanity has fallen, and you're an AI that wakes up in a garden. Now, you're greeted almost immediately by your god's voice. Let's listen. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. This god wants you to solve puzzles and collect some sigils to kind of test you. And early off, you start interacting with a character named Milton, who's a library assistant. And with going into that... Okay, no spoilers going forward, so that makes this a little harder to do, but let's get through it. Let's talk about some game mechanics. You have tools, such as this jammer, which allows you to jam machine guns, and you have barriers to drop and connectors to connect, all for these sigils. See the green one? Well, you also have yellow ones, and you have red ones. Those are indicating how difficult the puzzle you're working on is. Speaking of puzzles, well, there's laser puzzles and many different mechanics to make these puzzles all get increasingly more challenging. There are recordings with switches, and there are blocks and fans and block, fan, connector, switch combo things going on. And these tests you have to solve are taking place in different hub areas, A, B, and C, which you can get to by going through a nexus. Hey, there's this tower thing I'm not going to tell you about. And so back to the environments, you have this Greek kind of setting. You have Egyptian settings for your puzzles. It's actually very pretty. Uh, and then you've also got this Gothic medieval type of setting as you progress a little further into the game. But some of the meat that I wanted to talk to you about is this story that blindsided me and had me, in a very good way, salty. I, hmm, I was arguing with a computer. Um, some of my views are very fundamentally different than what this game tells you is going on, and then you're tempted by an outside source to start questioning what you believe and you have choices to make on which road you're going to go down. And you start uncovering these things that start making you believe what this temptation is and questioning your God. You get these ghosts of previous versions of yourself that have come through and you find your friends, actual Steam friends, by the way, leaving QR codes floating around, giving you these messages that are further driving you forward on what is happening. Now, the environments, like I mentioned, are beautiful and immersive, and the challenges, while they get increasingly more difficult, this challenge increase is not jagged, which some puzzle games have, eh, they don't do all that well. This teaches you the mechanics you're gonna need to know to carry forward and start solving these more difficult puzzles. Again, the beauty. The engine that this is built on by the is the Cry Engine, and it is amazingly powerful, and it's got a built-in component to help you with motion sickness if you happen to suffer from it, which is an awesome addition. The Talos Principle overall, let's get into that overview under five mentality with this. Is it worth it? Do I approve it? How much did it cost? How long does it take? So the cost is going to run you, by default, $40 US, and it's going to give you 15 to 20 hours of gameplay. It took me about 19 to finish, and I got it for 20 bucks. If you find it for $20, it's a steal, get it. If you really like puzzle games, get it for $40. It's worth it. There's some saltiness to it, like I said. So if you like puzzles, you don't mind getting salty, and you like being surprised by a story, Talos gets an approved on my overview under five. Mainly due to the challenging but not too difficult puzzles, the engaging and surprising story, and just the remote possibility that you might begin to see your belief structure differently. Once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and at least hit the like button or leave a glorious comment. Take care, guys.